Okay, so now for 14 part C, which was the actual question that was asked. Okay, we want to find the phone. They told us that two distinct um, circles C2 and C3 each have center 0, 0. Given that each of these circles touch circle 1, C1, find the equation of circle 2 and the equation of circle 3. So we know the center of both of them is 0, 0. So we, we got the, they're both going to say x squared plus y squared equals. Now what we need to do is to find the radius, the radii of each of those circles, and then we can form the equation, okay, because the center is 0, 0. So, you know, your formula for a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. But we know a and b are both going to be 0, okay, because that's the center of the circle. So they're going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we need to find the radius of each of these circles. So let's try and sort that out now. Now we know that the cir they told us that each of the circles touch C1. So let's start, let's draw a circle. Let's sketch a circle with center 0 touching C1 here. And the other one also touches C1. It has the same center, so it must touch it from the other side. It just touches it, it doesn't cut through it. It just touches it. So those are, that's, you know, circle C2 and C3. Okay, C2 and C3. Now, uh, we need to find the radius of C1, uh, C2 and C3. Now, what we already found in the first question is that the center of this circle, okay, the center of this circle had the coordinates 4, 6. It had, had the coordinates 4, 6. Okay, we can confirm that. Yeah, 4, 6 was the center of the circle. And we also know the radius. So we know that for C1, okay, the center was 4, 6, and the radius was the square root of 13. So if I draw a line from the center of this circle to where the two circles touch, okay, what I need to find is I need to find this, which is, oops, which is R2. Let's call that R2, the radius of the second circle. And I need to find um, the radius of the big circle, which is going to be R3. R3 is the length, R2 is up to here. And R3 is the length all the way from there to there. Okay, if I find R2, which is from here to here, I've got the radius of this circle. If I find R3, which is from the center to that point there, that's going to be the radius of the bigger circle, circle 3. So therefore, I can find the equation of each of these circles. Now, we know that the diameter of the circle, okay, the diameter or the radius of the circle is root 13. So I know the length from here to here is root 13. Now, if I can work out the distance from here to here, Okay, I've got this radius. Now I know that the center is at the point 4, 6. Okay, so I can work out the distance between the center of the circle and the, between the origin and the center of the circle. And that distance minus root 13 will give me the length I need over here. The length here will be the whole length from, from the center to 4, from origin to 4, 6 minus this radius. Okay, and for the for the radius of this circle, if I take the distance from the center to four, from the origin to 4, 6, and add root 13, I'll get the radius of circle 3. So first thing I need to find is how far the center of the first circle is from okay, the, um, the origin. So let me call that point P, okay, the point P, the center of circle 1. So let's find out what OP is. Well, that's not, not too difficult. It's going to be the square root of 4 squared plus 6 squared, which gives me the square root of 16 plus 36, which is the square root of 52. Okay, which is 2 root 13. Okay, the square root of 52 is 2 root 13, because that's 4 times 13. Okay, so that's the distance from O to P. All right? So for R2 is going to be... Um, 2 root 13 minus 1 root 13, which is root 13. Okay, that's R2. So we can say that these, for circle 2, the equation is going to be x squared 
plus y squared is equal to 13. And R3, R3 is going to be 2 root 13 plus 13. Because we've got 2 root 13 takes us all the way to 4 to 6. And you've got to add root 13 because this is a radius, isn't it? Okay, which is going to give us 3 times root 13. Okay, so for, for C3, it's going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to, it's going to be 9 times 13. Because 3 squared is 9, root 13 squared is 13. That's 90 plus 27, so that's going to be 117. x squared plus y squared is equal to 117. So that's your answer for C2 and C3, the equation of the circle. <clears throat> I hope that was clear. Let's just make sure that we did that correct. Uh, we got 3 times root 13. And I'm going to square the answer. 117, that's correct. Okay, so there we have it. The answer for 14 part C. A little bit of thinking involved. Sketching does help, although um, these tools I have on this uh, program just helps even more. With you, you have to do it freehand, but you've just got to do a little bit of thinking in these type of questions. Okay, they're not as straightforward as most of them, but it's um, still doable. Okay, so thank you for paying attention. That's question number 14 finished. And um, I'll see you in the next video.